This video will demonstrate how to apply for benefits through the Ohio Benefits Self-Service Portal. Disclaimer. For this video, we will be demonstrating how to apply for benefits within the Ohio Benefits Self-Service Portal training environment. Some elements may differ from what customers will see when they apply. Note that customers will apply for benefits at ssp.benefits.ohio.gov. To apply for benefits, navigate to the Apply for Cash, Food, Medical, or Child Care Assistance tile and select Apply for Assistance. On the Household Application Information page, answer the question on if the household is applying for benefits or a qualified health plan and select Continue. Before beginning the application, this page describes questions that may be asked about everyone applying for benefits and other household members. Additionally, this information carousel outlines what to expect when you apply and helpful things to know during the application process. Once reviewed, select Continue. A pop-up privacy statement will ask you to agree to the terms. Click Agree to Continue. The instruction page describes the type of buttons and options you will see throughout the application. Once reviewed, select Continue. This page details how your information will be used. Once reviewed, select Continue. This page describes your rights, how to report discrimination, and provides other ways to access communication for those with a disability or for non-English speakers. Once reviewed, select Continue. Here you will be welcomed and introduced to Section 1 of 7 of the application. Once reviewed, select Continue. Review the voter registration page. Answer yes to the question of if you would like to register, if you are not registered to vote where you live now. Answer no if you would not like to register. If you would like to receive a mailed copy of the voter registration and information update form, and Voter Registration Notice of Rights and Declination Form. Answer by selecting Yes. For this demonstration, I am selecting No for the voter registration questions and selecting Yes under receiving a mailed copy of the forms. A drop-down box of how many copies you would like to receive will appear. Select one or two. Once done, click Save and Continue. If you selected Yes to the mailing question, a warning pop-up will confirm the address the forms will be mailed to. Click Continue. Select who is applying for benefits. If you choose, I am submitting an application on someone else's behalf using my account. You will be prompted to answer yes or no if you are an authorized representative for the applicant. If you choose, I am applying for myself only. I am applying for myself and other household members or I am applying for other household members only, then you will be prompted to answer yes or no if someone is helping you with this application and if you want to give someone the right to act for you. For this demo, I am entering. I am applying for myself only, no and no. Click save and continue. Review and enter the details requested on the interpersonal information page. At the end, you will need to select what benefits you are applying for. For this demo, I am entering first name, Jane, last name, Smith, address, 222 East Central Parkway, Cincinnati, Ohio 45202. Yes for same mailing and home address. Select SNAP, TANF, and Child Care. Select Save and Continue. Confirm and correct your address if needed and click Save and Continue. Answer the expedited SNAP questions to help the county decide if you qualify to receive SNAP benefits more quickly. For this demo, I am answering No, then click Save and Continue. Review and enter the details requested on the Tell Us More page. For this demo, I am entering Female January 1st, 1995, no SSN. Select Yes for same first and last name on security card. Select Yes for U.S. citizen. Select Single, never married for marital status. Select No for known by another name. Select Yes for prepares food with the household. Select No for ongoing disability. 
Select No for Are You Pregnant? Select No for Were You Pregnant Recently? Select No for Visually Impaired. Select No for Hearing Impaired. Click Save and Continue. Once on the background information page, review and enter your information. For this video, I am entering Yes for Resident of Ohio. English for Preferred Spoken Written Language. White for race and answered no for Hispanic Latino and if ever received benefits. Once you save, this will take you to the start application summary page. Review the information you have provided thus far and edit if necessary. If everything is correct, click save and continue. The next page is the people summary page. Here you will enter anyone else that lives in your household that you will include on your application. For this video, I will be adding another person. Click Add Another Person. I will enter First Name, Daughter, Last Name, Application, Living in the Home for What is Their Living Situation? Select SNAP, TANF, and Child Care. Click Save and Continue. On the Tell Us More page, you will be asked to provide additional information on the other individual you are adding. For this video, I am entering Select Female, Person Joined Household Slash Date of Birth, January 1st, 2016, No SSN. Select Yes for Same First and Last Name on Security Card. Select Yes for U.S. Citizen. Select Single, Never Married for Marital Status. Select No for Known by Another Name. Select Yes for Eat Meals with Other People. Select No for Ongoing Disabilities in Blind, Click Save and Continue. Continue entering the information requested for the additional individual on the background information screen. I will. Select Yes for Resident of Ohio. Select English for Preferred Spoken Written Language. Select White for Race and Answered No for Hispanic Latino. Leap and if ever received benefits. Select Yes for Requesting Care for this child. Click Save and Continue. On the Child Care Needs screen, review and enter the information. I will enter Sunny Smiles for provider name. 50 West Town Street Unit, 123 Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Answer no for all other questions. Click Save and Continue. On this screen, review and select the correct address for the child care provider you are requesting. Select first radio button for 50 West Town Street, Unit 123, Columbus, Ohio, Franklin, 43215. Click Save and Continue. Review the information you have provided thus far and edit if necessary. Review and click Save and Continue. Here you will be introduced to Section 2 of 7 of the application. Once reviewed, select Continue. Next, you will be navigated to the Job Information screen where you will answer questions about the people in your home that have a job, attend school, or are in training. For this video, I will enter. No, for is anyone in the household going to school, college, or in training? No, for is anyone on strike? Yes, for is anyone in the home working, self-employed, or will receive earned income in the next 30 days? No, all others. Click Save and Continue. Because I indicated that someone in the household was working or self-employed, or would earn an income in the next 30 days, I need to provide the job or job history for that person. I will select the individual, Jane Smith, and enter the following. Select Work slash start date, January 1st, 2021. Select no for self-employment. Enter Walmart, January 1st, 2021 for date hired 40 hours per week. Paid weekly. Select yes for schedule varies. No for 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Click save and continue. Review the information you have provided thus far and edit if necessary. Review and click continue or add any other necessary job entries. 
Here you will be introduced to section 3 of 7 of the application. Once reviewed, select Continue. Review the Income Verification Information screen details, where you will be asked about the people in your home who earn or get money. I will be entering No for the income questions around SSI, VA, etc. Click Save and Continue. Here you will be introduced to Section 4 of 7 of the application. Once reviewed, select Continue. Review and enter expense information as it related to the people in your home who have expenses. I am entering no to all expense questions. Click save and continue. Here you will be introduced to section five of seven of the application. Once reviewed, select continue. You will be navigated to the resource information page to enter any resources for those in the home. I am entering no for this demonstration. Once done, click save and continue. Here you will be introduced to section six of seven of the application. Once reviewed, select continue. Next, you will be navigated to the house relationships page where you will indicate the relationships between everyone in the household. I am entering parent as of January 1st, 2016 on relationships. Then save and continue. Next, the other information screen captures additional information. I am answering no for the other information questions and hitting save and continue. Next, the other information screen captures additional information. I am answering no for the other information questions and hitting save and continue. Review the women, infants, and children, WIC program information, and check the box to indicate if you would like more information on the program. Scroll through the description box and click the checkbox to acknowledge that you have read the health check and pregnancy related services information sheet. Click continue. Here you will be introduced to section 7 of 7 of the application. Once reviewed, select continue. You can upload any required verification documents here. Review this page for example documents you can provide and click save and continue. Review the e-signature page. Check the I have read the notice of privacy practices box. Check the check to sign box. Click within the name box. Enter your name, the appropriate description, and the account holder's name. Click submit application. Once you have submitted an application, you can view the status and manage your account from the SSP landing page. To view the status of your application, navigate to the Apply for Cash, Food, Medical, or Child Care Assistance tile and click View Application Status. Once on the View Application Status page, you can adjust the date range to see different applications and select the application by clicking the hyperlink application number. This page will detail the status information available on your application. You can click exit to navigate back to the home page. If you have any questions on navigating or using the SSP, please call 1-844-640-OHIO-6446.